Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something exciting for all you photographers and retouchers out there. We're putting two powerhouse portrait retouching tools head to head. Retouch for me versus Evoto AI. I'll be comparing their features, speed and results. So by the end, you'll know exactly which one deserves a spot in your workflow. Let's dive right in. Okay, first things first, to make things fair, we will only use the default preset available for each software. Then we will just make manual tweaks only in situations they are required. Let's begin with Retouch For Me. I am using Apex. Retouch For Me Apex is a cloud-based retouching plugin that works as a Photoshop plugin or a standalone app. It combines multiple AI tools in one interface and processes everything on their servers, so no powerful hardware needed. Let's open up our first example right here. Then we go to the preset section here on the top right. We'll use the default preset. It uses the following plugins, lifting, heal, dodge and burn, portrait volumes and white teeth. So now we click start retouching and wait a couple of seconds. By the way, this is all happening in real time. I will not be speed ramping this video. And after a few seconds, it's done retouching the image. This is the before, this is after. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. I think it did a pretty good job retouching this image. Let's go ahead and disable the lifting plugin so we can actually see what was done on the model's skin. This is the before, this is after. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. I think it did a pretty good job retouching this image. Okay, so what do you think about Retouch Me Apex? Are you impressed? Now let's edit the same image in Evoto and see the result. Let's go to the presets section right here on the top left. This is Natural 1 preset, and this is Natural 2 preset. As you can see, it did not remove all the dark spots, like what Apex did. This is because Evoto thinks those dark spots are actually moles. To be honest, this is quite a challenging photo to edit. It still boils down to the photo editor's preference if he wants to remove all the blemishes or keep some. Let's reset the image and edit this image manually. We go to the blemish removal section and set all the face refinement effects all the way to 100. And then enable the face mole removal tool then we scroll down to body blemishes and set it all the way to 100. And as you can see, it has completely removed all the skin blemishes similar to Apex. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. So what do you think? Is Evoto better than Retouch For Me Apex? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. Let's go back to Apex and move on to our second example. We will still use the default preset, but disable the lifting plugin. I will now click Start Retouching. And after a few seconds, it has processed this image. This is the before, this is after. Before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after. Before, after. All right, I'm happy with this image. Apex did an amazing job with the skin retouching. Let's switch back to Evoto now. Again, we'll use the default presets. This is Natural 1 preset. This is Natural 2. And this is High End preset. As you can see, the effect is applied almost instantaneously, unlike Apex where we have to wait for a couple of seconds to see the results. Also, some dark spots were not removed, while on Apex, it removed all of them. Let's reset the image and edit manually. Again, we go to the Blemish Removal tool and set Face Refinement all the way to 100. Let's set the freckles to zero, as I don't want to remove them. Then we enable the Face Mole Removal and set the Body Blemishes effect to 100. This is the before. This is after. Before. After. Let's zoom in. Before. After. Before. After. Alright, I believe this retouching looks more natural and realistic. So, let me ask you again, which one do you like better? Retouch For Me Apex or Evoto? Let's proceed with our third example. And we are back in Apex. 
and while still on default preset, we'll click on Start Retouching. And it's done. Okay, this time Apex was not able to remove all the skin imperfections. Let's zoom in. As you can see, it left some on her right cheek. I guess Apex was not able to detect that those are skin blemishes. Let's see if we can manually brush those blemishes. Okay, I guess there is no way to do that. We can only add or erase what was automatically detected by the plugin. What I will do now is save this edited image, open it, and then run the default preset again. And this time it did remove some blemishes, but still not all of them. And this is at the cost of one additional credit as it treats this as a new image. Overall, I think Apex failed on this image. Let's now go to Evoto, edit the same image and see what it does. Okay, back here in Evoto, we use the Natural 1 preset and Natural 2 preset. Looks like Natural preset did a nice job, but still left a few dark spots. Now let's reset the image and edit it manually. So I'll set face refinement to 100, enable face mole removal, and set body blemishes to 100. This is the before, this is after. Before, after, before, after. Let's zoom in. Before, after, before, after. Okay, so it looks like Evoto wins the third round. No doubt about that. And for our last and final example, we're back in Apex. Again, we click Start Retouching on Default Preset. Before, after. Before, after. Okay, Apex did a fine job, but it missed some on her chin, but overall this looks good. Let's save this image. Open it. Then do another round of retouching. Again, this is at a cost of an additional credit. And now it removed the blemish on her chin. Let's disable the white teeth plugin as we don't need to use it for this image. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Okay, and now we're back again in Avoto. We go to the preset section, click on Natural 1 preset, then try Natural 2 preset. It looks like both presets missed a few dark spots again. So let's reset the image and edit it manually. I'm just doing the exact same thing on the first three images, so I will just go ahead and speed up this process. And I'm done! Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. Let's zoom in. So who do you think won this final round? Comment down below. In my own opinion, both tools work great and can be used on a case-to-case -case basis. Retouch for me is slightly slower, but the results look more natural and realistic. It focuses on enhancing facial structure, contours, and lighting in a natural, non-destructive way, making it ideal for professional photographers who want subtle yet polished results. Evoto, on the other hand, gives you more control and offers a complete all-in-one retouching platform with facial sculpting, skin smoothing, makeup application, and batch editing, giving faster, more high-end or stylized results. In short, Apex excels in realism and precision, while Evoto AI shines in speed and versatility. Both are credit-based, so you have to be careful before exporting the image. As I always say, these are simply tools that help us achieve the image that we envision as we click the shutter button on our cameras. At the end of the day, photo editing is subjective and every photographer has his own style. No matter which software you choose, as long as you are happy with the results, then it's considered a win. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button, subscribe to watch more videos like this, and click the bell icon to enable notifications. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.